Hey there guys, so this is a DIY belt squat that I made, um, kept it very simple, very easy to build, costs really cheap. Um, so I built it primarily out of cypress and just put a piece of the pine at the end, connected it with a few hinges so it could move, um, especially once it's fixed in a rack, um, that way I got the leverage that I needed, plates just sit on top of the... Uh, belt squat itself. The belt, I just used some chain and thread it through some vinyl plastic piping um, because if you just put the belt around your middle you feel it really bite in when the weight gets significantly heavier. So the belt squat just sits into the um, power rack, fits there really quite well. I don't have to bolt it in or do anything because you're pulling against it because it wants to come towards you as you're naturally squatting. So just having it pressed against the uprights work well. Um, belt goes on easy enough. And then I just connect it using this piece of chain. I just thread it through the spare carabiner. Um, and I'm pretty much set to go, as you'll see. As for the spare chain, I just tuck that in my pocket. If you're just set on only you using it, um, I'm sure you could just get a pair of bolt cutters and cut it shorter. But um, for me, I just keep it that way in case there's others that need to train. As you can see, very easy to clip on and clip off. Using the belt squat, it also saves a lot on your lower back as all the weight is sitting on your hips unlike traditional squats, so yeah, I find this is a great assistant movement. Um, I'm leaning backwards, so I get to use a little bit more glutes and hamstrings when I need. Also, if I pause at the base um, and lean slightly forward, I can hit a lot of quads as well. So it just depends on what is your weakness and how you want to go about addressing it. When it comes to loading weight plates, generally I don't go above 100 kilos because when I'm using the belt squat, it's as an accessory movement after my primary squatting movement. And I'm also going for much higher reps, so typically sets of 20 reps. Um, so yeah, I don't need to use a lot of weight. And I'll play around a lot with the foot stance, positioning, um, pausing, and just feeling my way through the movement. So I'm not really trying to always hit the target number of reps. It's more about feel um, and putting the load where basically I need the development to help boost my squat up. So, yeah, very versatile piece of equipment, very, very easy to build, um, and incredibly effective as well. As you can see, it hits the quads quite well, um, and that then allows me to continue to improve my regular squats. So, this is 350 kilos in the DIY power rack as well. Um, and yeah, hopefully a little bit more comp day. So hope you guys have enjoyed watching, hit like and subscribe and have a great day wherever you are.